Hi everyone, my name is Shikin. Welcome back to the third episode of Bioflock Weekly. If you haven't watched yet the second episode, you can find the link at the description below. In the last episode, we already talked about how the Bioflock works. And in this episode, we will be discussing on why we choose Baname as our culture species. Although we can choose to culture crab, fish, tilapia and grouper in our bioflock water, but we specifically choose the Baname shrimp. There are few criteria that you need to understand before choosing your culture species. First is their tolerance to turbidity. The turbidity is the measurement of cloudiness of the water by the presence of the particle. So here in Bioflock, the particle is the microorganism. How we can measure the turbidity is by using Sechi disk. Here we have our DIY Sechi disk. And when we deploy the Sechi disk, the level where we cannot see the disk is at 40. And when we rise a bit, the level that the disc can be seen again is at 30. And the average between these two is 35 is where your sechi disc depth. In our observation, the species like the shrimp and the crab, they live in the muddy habitat. So these two species is very ideal to be cultured in bioflock water. In comparison, with other fishes like the discus and also arowana, they need very clean water, thus it's not suitable to be cultured in bioflock. Second criteria that we need to consider of choosing your culture species is the species should be able to tolerate to low oxygen. Higher level of microorganism will result in high respiration rate known as the biochemical oxygen demand. In bioflock, it requires a lot of bacteria to convert the waste, thus will increase the oxygen consumption. In bioflock culture system, net oxygen need to be shared by both microbes and also the culture species. Sometimes, change in bioflock we result in an excessive uptake of oxygen by the microbial community. This will limit the availability of the oxygen to your culture species. Thus, your culture species need to able to tolerate to the rapid change of the oxygen level. To ensure you have good growth of your culture species, one have to ensure you have enough oxygen availability by controlling the microbial population. The last criteria is by choosing an omnivore species to be cultured in bioflock. Not all species can eat the bioflock. We know that in bioflock, they consist of various zooplankton, phytoplankton, algae and also bacteria, which either in the form of plant or animal. Omnivore species like the tilapia and also baname is very ideal for this criteria. We can save our feed cost because these species they can feed both on the formulated feed as well as the bioflow. Furthermore, baname they have a special featuring structure which is absent in black tiger shrimp and the freshwater shrimp. This structure will help the Baname to filter the flock. Besides that, the Baname, they have an adaptive digestive system which enable them to digest the flock very well. However, it is still okay for us to culture the black tiger shrimp and the freshwater shrimp. Although these two species is carnivore and they didn't have the filtering structure, but the bioflock they can still function to remove the ammonia. Since the reason why we adopt the bioflow is to save the feed cost, but by culturing 
the carnivorous species, it will not result in substantial saving in the feed cost. Now, we already reached at the end of this episode. Throughout this episode, we already discussed three criteria that you need to understand before choosing your culture species. The first criteria is the tolerable towards the high tubility, and second is their tolerance towards the low oxygen, and third is the species must be the omnivore species. In the next episode, I will share on how this bioflow will improve the health status of your shrimp. Do subscribe so that you will get notified when the next episode is out. If you have any question, leave your question at the comment section below and we will do an Q&A session at the end of this series. Thank you for watching and see you on the next episode.